Okay, so now we're gonna look at opportunity cost as a way that we can measure behavior. Okay, um, we have two curves here. Um, we call these essentially production possibilities curves, which we're gonna get into more and more. But let's say that we'll look at just this curve this time. Let's say that there is a, an economy where we're only able to produce two goods, donuts and cakes, all right? Donuts and cakes, which means all of the resources that we have are going in to make donuts or cakes, okay? And we can make, using all of our resources, we can make 25 donuts. Now, if we make 25 donuts, if we decide to make this many, this many on this line right here, that means we don't have any more resources to make cakes. So if we make all of our units of donuts, we can't make any cakes. But if we take all of our resources to make cakes, we can make five cakes, right, up here on this line. So we can put all of our resources into donuts and make 25 units of them. Or we can put all of our resources into making cakes and make five of them and zero donuts. Or we can make, use our resources to make some combination of cakes and donuts, okay? And so what this line represents, and you can see here, is the maximum amount of resources being used. We don't have enough resources to make 25 donuts and five cakes at the same time. That'd be like up here somewhere. We don't have that. We only have enough resources to make these combinations um, of cakes and donuts. So for example, if we decide, we'll call this point A, point B, C, D, E, and point F, okay? If we are at point A, we're making five cakes and zero donuts. If we want to add five donuts, that's fine, but that means we only have enough resources now to make four cakes. So what we would say is the opportunity cost of five donuts. So if we're gonna add five donuts, we're gonna lose one cake, is one cake. We lost, we had to give up making a cake to make five donuts. So you can see our opportunity cost is measured in what we're giving up, in this case, we're giving up cakes, okay? It doesn't mean that, um, you know, the opportunity cost is five donuts. We're getting five donuts. We're adding five donuts we didn't have before, and we're giving up a cake. If we decide to add five more donuts, that's to say, what if we wanted to go from point A to point C? Now, at point C, we have enough resources to make three cakes and two donuts, which means if we want to add 10 donuts, we want to go from zero to 10 donuts, that means we're going to only have enough resources to make three cakes, which means our opportunity cost in this case would be two. Went from five to three, we gave up. Our opportunity cost of 10 donuts would be two cakes, okay? Now let's say that we're starting off here at point F, right, and we're making 25 donuts, and we want to go to point E, okay? So we want to add a cake. So in this case, the opportunity cost of one cake, so we now are going to have one cake. Well, that means if you find the line, we go over to the line, we only have enough resources left over to make 20 donuts. So we had to give up five donuts, so I should say mice, we had to give up five donuts to gain one cake. So the opportunity cost of gaining a cake would be five donuts. So we measure everything in what we're giving up, okay? We'll look at another one here between cars and SUVs. Now you're probably noticing that donuts and cakes use the same resources and cars and SUVs use the same resources. They use the same uh, manufacturing process. They use the same inputs. Now, obviously, there are different things, but it, they're made. I've worked in factories before, right? And in car factories, they're they're made using the same processes. Okay, so because these things are using similar or very similar resources, we can have what we call a straight line opportunity cost graph or a straight line production possibilities curve. We have that when the resources that are being used are very similar. Um, in the future, we'll learn about increasing costs where the two resources would be different and that changes things. But let's say in this case, we can, if we put all of our resources into making SUVs, we could make five. At that case, we'd make no cars. Or we could put all our resources into making cars, which means we could make 10, but we couldn't make any SUVs. Or we could make some combination of them, 
Um, and but that combination, the maximum, again, this line here, the maximum amount of, of resources that we can use is represented here. So if we wanted to go here to, to six, so let's say we start off with 10 cars, and let's say we wanted to add two SUVs. So we wanted to make two SUVs. Well, if we're going to make two SUVs, that means we have enough resources and we go up to our line here, which is our maximum amount of resources. If we go to our line, that means we have enough resources to make six cars. That doesn't mean our opportunity cost is six. Our opportunity cost of two SUVs is we were at 10 cars, but now we only have enough resources to make six. So we gave up four. So the opportunity cost of two SUVs is four cars. We gave up four cars to gain the resources to make two SUVs. Let's say we start here at five SUVs, right? And let's say we want to add two or four cars. So the opportunity cost of four cars, so um, we want to make four cars. So if we're making four cars, that means we have enough resources left over. We go over to our line here, go straight down. We have enough resources left over to make three SUVs. So how many SUVs do we have to give up to make four cars? Well, we were making five SUVs. Now we're making three. So we had to give up two um, SUVs. So the opportunity cost, we gained four cars, but we had to give up two SUVs to do it because we don't have enough resources to make everything that we want, right? We have to make decisions. In economics, it's about decision making and where to put our resources. So if we want to make four cars, that means we're losing resources to make two SUVs in this, in this instance, okay? And I'll do one more of these to go over it again. So we've done this one here and this one.